flower friends. This is Nicole from Flower Hill Farm. So people have been asking me for the past year or so if I planned on putting a roadside stand in. So the previous owner of our house did have a roadside stand for vegetables. They had an organic vegetable stand and they actually sold the stand before we moved in, which was quite a bummer. They left the sign for it, which is over in the tree line. Um, it just says farm stand. Yeah, it just says farm stand in big, big wooden letters. And um, I've decided no, I'm not gonna be doing a roadside stand because I realized I was sitting on the solution the entire time. Quite literally sitting on the solution in the form of a my porch. I have a massive colonial wraparound beautiful southern porch. It's about 10 foot deep and about 30 feet wide and it actually wraps around and there's another 15 foot stretch of it um, by the 10 foot wide too. So that's kind of like the perfect solution. So today I held my very first pop-up porch sale. I just advertised it on my social media and I did really well. Uh, I had several people stop and grab a bouquet and I priced all different price points. I had my $20 bouquet, which is like a lily and several snapdragons and some fillers. That's the, the main bouquet. That's what my CSA members get. And then um, I had a, a $7 bundle of snapdragons, which is just a, a small bundle of like five or six snapdragons. And then I had these short six inch uh, bouquet, bouquets in a little tiny vase. The vase was not included, it was just the flowers. So they were, they went really well and people seemed to like it. So I think that's my solution. I'm definitely gonna be having uh, a little bit of a, a little store on my porch. So it's kind of the perfect location. I live up a long winding driveway on top of a hill. Everyone knows this house. They know it as the house on the hill with a big porch. So to have it on the porch, I think is a good idea. Um, it invites people up. Uh, people do like to see what we have going on around here and if they're able to pull in the driveway and take a look at the farm. And I'm not saying get out and walk around because you can't do that. But you know, just pop in and see, oh, there's the sunflower field, there's the gladios. Could you? Gladius, gladiolas, you could see everything basically from the driveway except for the wildflower field that's hidden, super secret. So that's my idea. I'm happy about it. My husband was all for it and he even started to help me decorate up on the porch. My Aunt Tammy bought me this beautiful sign and uh, I didn't know where to put it until now and it's like it was meant to be. So I'm, so, I'm excited to show her what we're doing with it. So, And that brings me to my happy vibes wearing this shirt today because guess what happened last night okay okay you guys remember the big water tanks I'm trying to block them that we put in yesterday just yesterday my chickens are right underneath me they're so loud guess what happened last night it rained and guys that one is almost full and then that one got almost halfway up these are 330 gallon tanks guys it didn't even rain that much maybe I mean it did but um, it wasn't like a four inch rain. It was, uh, I think they're estimating right around two inches for our area. And we only did one side of the garage. Let me show you. So that gutter is only attached to that side of the garage and the breezeway roof, but only on the side that leans this way. Oh my gosh, these chickens are so loud right now. So it's only from those two roofs. Can you imagine if we actually did the house? Wow, I can't imagine how much water we would get. So anyway, clearly this worked well. And I'll tell you more about the pump. So this is the pump that my husband decided to go with and he tested it out last night and it worked really well. So this is called a C-Flow Professional Grade Pump System. It's got open flow, 11.3 liters per minute or three gallons per minute. It's a 12 volt and you can read the amps and all that stuff. It says 3.5, 7.5 max. Pressure is 55 PSI. Okay, so like I was saying, he tested this last night and using a bucket of water to see how powerful the water was gonna come out of this pump came out great. So now what he's doing is looking for the attachment piece that's gonna go from the big water tanks to this end of the pump. It has to go from a huge opening to a smaller opening. So he's working on getting that attachment for the next time we need rain. And clearly we're not gonna need to use these for a while. It's supposed to rain a few times this week and we just got two and a half inches of water. Actually, about, if you count Friday night, we got about three inches of water over the course of this weekend so far. So I'm gonna put this back up here. This is my shelf, by the way. We got a whole shelf in the garage. 
Okay, so this is my sunflower patch that I have going. These are my earliest ones right here. They are starting to bud up for sure, and I've got a couple of pro cuts that are about to open. So I'm gonna be planting more though, because these are 50 day crops. So I'm gonna plant like four of these. So I'm gonna plant these, but I'm gonna move them into the fenced in garden, which is just up this hill. So I'm gonna be planting a few of the white lights, pro cut plum, more autumn beauty, which is the only branching variety that I'm growing. Uh, double quick orange, which is a 65 day crop. So they're a little bit later. And then pro cut orange. And that's all I have. No, actually I have some red hedge that I have to find. I might've actually planted them all. I don't know. I have a few rows that I just planted last week that are not even up yet. They should germinate though with this quick burst of rain that we just had. They are absolutely loving it. This is the one right here. This one's opening up and they're not as tall as the sunflowers that you would grow in your yard because I spaced them close together. And I spaced them close together because I am not going for those massive 12 inch heads that a lot of people grow in their garden. I'm going for bouquet sized heads. So I am planting them closer together. The closer together you plant your sunflowers, the smaller the heads will be. So I planted about 200 of those double sunflowers and about 200 of the regular pro cuts. And I'll be doing probably another 200 of the plum uh, later tonight. And uh, so those are, the double ones are about 65 days to bloom, but the pro cut and the plum, those are 50 to 60 days to bloom. So they'll be uh, ready, for, perfect for fall time. Guys, my vegetable garden has turned into a lawn. These are my squashes and watermelons done so well and especially now that we got that big rain they look fantastic but I am so overwhelmed with weeds everywhere else in my garden you see this this is everywhere in between my rows of beans in between my rows of potatoes in between my onions in between my beets in between my leeks but I just harvested my first green bean and that makes me not care about the weeds <laughs> because my garden So good. I want to plant more beans today because I love canned beans and I never can enough. Only one year I canned enough. I did 40 quarts probably five years ago. That was perfect. 40 quarts. I eat so many beans in the winter time. So I'm going to plant beans today too. Also, I just kind of gasped. I had a whoo moment because I just opened up my Lysianthus, which has started to take off and I see a bud. There's a bud on my Lysianthus. Remember the one I started in January? Oh, see all these weeds coming up through the bio 360? All the lizards are still here. This one's the tallest one. It's probably, well, it's more than a foot tall. And I just opened up this first layer and I saw another thing of leaves. And then I peeled back this. It's a bud. It's a Lysianthus bud. Here are all those lilies. They're really starting to open up. Some of them are starting to color up. I just picked my first yellow one. There's a couple of yellow ones down there too that I can see are starting to color up. Now these were a combination, I believe all of the ones over here were from Awnings. That's a company that you can get um, plant seeds, uh, bulbs, everything from. Um, Hank is my rep there. And I've bought 400 plus 250, I think. Yeah, so 650 came from Awnings, and then I have several other more hundreds that came from Edney, and uh, they were planted later. So these ones are succession planted. Every week I planted two rows, and uh, they're just coming up and starting to look real good, starting to harvest. I did not plant these sunflowers. These were dropped from last year's crop. They're both an autumn beauty mix, which means branching sunflowers. So each sunflower, what there's like 20 on each plant coming up 
and they're starting to open. I can see the color of the petals in there. And I'm gonna, these are not pollenless though. They do have pollen, so they will drop pollen in the bouquets. It's getting a little windy out, guys. These are fantastic. I am still waiting for that first stalk to emerge in the gladiolas. I can feel them. If you take your hand and feel the bottom of the gladiola, you can feel the stem coming up and then they'll emerge from in between like an iris does. Um, still waiting for that first one, but I'm checking them every day. As you can see, these are about two and a half feet tall. These were the first batch and then they're succession planted until last week. I just found it. Am I on the camera? Am I on? I just found it. <laughs> just found the first one. It's right, where, where? it's right here. Can you, you can't see. Come here, come here, come with me. Oh my God, could you see with all those rows of, is that it? Right there. It's the first gladiola to emerge. Those are all the beautiful things and they're coming guys, yay. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today. I wanted to show you guys the update on the water tanks and how excited I am that that's actually working. And now we're gonna rig it up so that we could uh, water the water, the wildflower fields when we can, when we need to. Also, the dahlias, which I'll show you my dahlias maybe maybe later this week, but I'm so excited that I got a lisianthus bud, which I started from seed back, I think it was January 23rd. I didn't think that I was gonna be successful in that because everyone warned me that it was nearly impossible. Not nearly impossible, I know a lot of people do it, but it's a lot more difficult to start one from seed than it is to throw a plug in the ground. So, they're Lysianthus, if you know anything about them, they take about, you need to start them like 14 weeks before you even put them outside. That's why I said when I started seeds in January in my basement and my last frost date's May Memorial Day, that's what I did. And they're still just now. And I think this year, my friend Gina and I have been talking, we're going to start them in December this year. We need them to be bigger and uh, we need to pinch them and everything before we put them in the ground. So, and guys, my first gladiola bloom stalk is coming up. It's happening, I'm so happy. I, this is a lot of time and investment and heart that goes into this and every single bloom makes me happy and I really want my customers to feel that way and I want them to know that everything that I've grown was grown with, with love and sweat and money and tears and blood, lots of blood. So the other day I tripped, <laughs> I wish I had the camera on. I was in with the bachelor buttons and I have that in an area with chicken wire because my chickens, when I first seeded it, they were going in there and they were kicking it up. And I was like, I gotta do something. They can't just go in there and kick the seed that I just planted up. So I surrounded it with uh, chicken wire and I was barefoot and I was in there and I was clipping some bachelor buttons to bring inside. And I went to walk over the chicken wire fence to go back towards the house and I've got my clippers in my hand and I didn't have my belt on, I had my phone. And I went to go go over top of it and my big toe stuck in the top of the chicken wire. <laughs> I went face first and I, I didn't drop anything. I, the flowers were in my hand, the clippers were in my hand, the phone was in my hand, I didn't drop anything. But I landed <laughs> face first. My husband was laughing at me from the garage because that's what they do, don't they? Anyway. I wanted to bring you guys those updates. I am, I think I'm shooting another video today that I'm gonna share with you guys later this week about some stuff I got going on. We got some, some fun things happening. So I'm really excited to share that with you. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.